Okay, welcome to Virtual Sunday School. This is our friend Daffodil. Hi, Daffodil. Can I help you? Do you want to spit that out? Uh -huh. Hi, what do you have here? This is my concoction. A concoction? I mean, commotion. Commotion? Well, I can't remember the right word. Well, can I open it and look inside? Yes. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Wait. Oh, oh, is this a collection? Uh, yes. A that's collection. my collection. Well, they, these things don't really go together. Can but you can't tell? Tell me about your collection. Why are these things special to you? Why did you, you collect them? You can't tell why I collected them? No. What okay. is this? Shiny? Well, this is my nice shiny rock. I found it at the edge of the water. <gasps> wow. And so why do you like it? Because it's shiny. And I like shiny things. I like shiny things too. Oh, this well then beautiful. you probably like my other things. I will, I will. Here's my it? flower. Oh, look at it. It's it perfect. reminds me of my mom, oh, Daisy Duck. And Daisy she makes me Duck. happy. Oh, well, these flower and you, Daffodil, make me happy. That is beautiful. Your mama loves you very much. Okay, and our last uh, little and thing. And this is my piece of bread. Or a goldfish cracker. Or, yes. <laughs> it reminds me of when people bring me bread at the pond. Oh, do you like bread at the pond? I love it. Do you like goldfish crackers at the pond? Even more. Really? That is so fun. That is such a nice treat when people give you things that make you happy. So you like my good concoction? I love your collection. Oh, yes. Oh, I mean yes. collection. It's good, isn't it? It is. Why don't, why don't I put these things back in the bag for you? Would you like to take them off? Yes, please. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for coming by and sharing your collection. I mean, Maybe you can come back next time and tell us more about your new collection. <laughs> Bye, Daffodil. Well, that was so fun. It's lovely to have visitors. Daffodil is so sweet. Do you remember the three things she brought? She brought a flower. And that reminded her of her mom. She brought a rock. And she liked that because it was shiny. And she brought a goldfish cracker that reminded her of bread. So many important things. And today we're going to talk about a woman who helped people by making them clothing. And people loved her, just like Daffodil loved those things that reminded her of people that took care of her and gave her good things. And so we just, when we see those good things, that we receive, we remember God's goodness to us. And so we're gonna see God's special goodness to a woman named Dorcas today and to her friends. So, but Dorcas, let me tell you a little bit about her. She made clothing for people back in the Bible times. Gosh, have you ever made clothing? I haven't, I can't sew very well. And I don't know how they got fabric. That must have been a lot of work to make fabric or purchase it and to cut out patterns and to make clothing for people. That must have been a lot of work. So today we're going to do a craft where we make clothing. So let me just go down here and get my supplies. Just right under my table, a big pile of supplies. So what I have is I have some scratch paper, some scraps, and I cut out some yarn to make hair. And I have two pre-cut people, they're friends. I think one's gonna be a boy and one's gonna be a girl, okay? And I thought today you guys can do that. You can cut out people shapes. You could probably find them online and print them out and cut them out. And then make some clothing out of some paper scraps you might have around. So I was thinking this little person would be a boy. And I have some paper strips like this that will make fabulous pants. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that well, but we'll do it really quick. Snip for the pants. A glue stick to glue them on. Shh. And he's got neon green pants. I bet you wish you had neon green pants. And then I have this orange piece of paper and I'm gonna try to cut out a shirt, like a pattern. I'm not very good at sewing, but we'll see how this turns out. And you might not want to cut it out. You might want to just use scratch paper and see how that works. Let's see if this is big enough. Oh, that'll work. So I'm going to put a bunch of glue all over this guy. His isn't coming. His pants are kind of high. But that's, oh, I'll put some down here. 
Then, oh, he's got a shirt on. Oh, the arms, look at, the arms are kind of little, little arms for the guy, but that's okay. I could add more orange if I wanted to fix his shirt, but I don't want to. So, and then I'm gonna take my pencil. You might use crayons or markers, and I'm gonna make eyes. How many eyes do you have? Two, that's right. A nose, how many noses do you have? One, that's right. And a mouth. And then I'm gonna take some glue. I'm gonna glue on some crazy blue hair, because nowadays people have all different color hair. And so, since we're making fake people, we can make our favorite color hair. Is blue your favorite color? I have lots of favorite colors. So, this boy needs a haircut. Well, he's been, you know, locked down from COVID for a long time, so he couldn't get a haircut. You know. And there's some crazy-haired guy. So, you could do that. Maybe you want to make a girl. So I'm gonna take, I'm wearing a purple shirt, so I'm gonna to try to cut out a dress. Think I could do it? I don't know if I can. I didn't even, I like to do things in half because then when you um, fold it in half and you cut out one half, the other side's exact. So if I take my pencil and I think, oh gosh, let's see if I can do this with this person on here. And I'm gonna do a little scoop neck and a puffy sleeve. Ho, 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 this is crazy and then a dr long dress with a ruffle. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Scoop neck, puffy sleeve, long dress with a ruffle. Can I do this? Oh my goodness, let's see. Do you think it's gonna work? Does it look like a dress? That's a funny neck. I'm gonna fix the neck. Better. Let's smear some glue all over my lady. And then glue on her dress. Oh. <laughs> See how my sleeves turned out funny? Her arms go down and the sleeves go up. That is so funny. And then I'm gonna give my little girl with funny sleeves yellow, red, green, and blue hair. She is like a rainbow, and she loves her crooked dress, so she has a happy face. And there you go. Just like that, you can make people with clothing. Now, I think the lady in our Bible story, it was not that easy to make clothes. So let's move over to the Bible story, and we'll talk about what happened to Dorcas and how people were sad because she was not able to make clothes. Are you ready? So today's Bible story also comes from the book of Acts. That's where all of our past several Bible stories have come from. And this is from chapter 9, verses 36 through 42, 43. Um, and as I told you, there was a lady, her name was Dorcas, and she was an older lady, and she made clothes for people. Well, Dorcas died. And many people were so sad. They were crying and crying and crying because Dorcas was a kind woman. She was a generous woman. She loved people. And all the other ladies and children, they were so sad. They were crying. And some people ran to Peter and they said, Peter, come, come. We, we need you to come and lay your hands on Dorcas. She has died. So Peter went to the house and he told everyone to leave the room. And Peter prayed. And he said, God, please heal Dorcas. In the name of Jesus, get up. Dorcas got up. Jesus raised her from the dead. Peter prayed for her and she got up and she was raised from the dead. Now, no one can do that. Only Jesus can do that. Only Jesus was raised from the dead. Many people saw and saw Dorcas now alive and well and they were so happy. But they knew that that just doesn't happen. People don't just come alive again after they're dead. And Peter was able to tell them that Jesus made her alive again because Jesus has the power over death. And do you know what happened next? Many people in that town believed in Jesus because they saw God's power at work through a little man named Peter. Remember how Peter had denied Jesus? Remember how Peter made a lot of mistakes? Boys and girls, you and I make a lot of mistakes sometimes. We don't do it right. But when we 
trust in Jesus, we put our trust in him, then we know that someday we will live forever in heaven with him. And even though Miss Dorcas was made alive again, she was going to die again. Her body would get older and more frail and she would die. But if she believed in Jesus, then when her body wore out, she would get to live in heaven with Jesus forever and with God and with the family of God. So it's really important to remember when we see good things, when we have good things, to remember those good things are given to us by God to show us who God is and how powerful God is. And so many people, when they saw Jesus, I mean, when they saw Dorcas come alive again by the power of Jesus, they believed. And our Bible verse today is going to remind us about what it means to believe in Jesus. So remember when we say, I believe in Jesus, we're saying more than saying, I believe that Buddy is sitting next to me in a chair. It's more than that. It's putting our trust in him. So right now I wanna to read to you the verse. It says that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. John 3, 15. Now, if you look at the picture of whoever, this picture we have, it's whoever. See, this is people, the Bible tells us that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. And so there are people all over the world. They have different skin colors. They speak in different languages. They have different customs. They wear different clothing. And it doesn't matter. Jesus loves them, he loves their culture, he loves their clothing, he loves their language. So whoever believes in Jesus, that whoever, so that's you and me. If we believe in Jesus, whoever believes. See this picture of this little girl? She is praying and putting all of her trust in Jesus. She knows that if she is praying, she's believing that Jesus hears her prayers and will answer her. And this is a picture of Jesus that shows Jesus alive and risen from the grave. He lived a perfect life. He died a death he didn't deserve, but he rose again powerfully to show that we could rise again someday and live with him forever. So if anyone believes in him, you may have, it's like a gift. You may have eternal life. Jesus is offering you this gift. Will you take it? So this gift reminds you that not everybody gets it. Not everybody receives that gift. You have to receive it. You have to believe with all of your heart and receive that gift. And then you have eternal life. And this looks like a sideways number eight. And this is a symbol that means eternity or forever. It never stops. And this symbol, if you look closely, is made up of hearts of many colors. So it just reminds us that in heaven, we will be with Jesus and people of every tribe and nation and tongue. And that's what the people believed when they saw Dorcas come alive again by the power of Jesus as spoken through Peter. And that is an amazing story. When, and I want you to go back and remember Daffodil and her collection. Those collections of simple things reminded her of things that made her glad. And those things that made her glad are reminders of God's great love for us. Just like Dorcas made clothes and they made people glad, God loves us. He's given us a way to have eternal life. And that makes me glad. And it's good to remember all those good and wonderful gifts come from God. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you that you raised Dorcas from the dead. No one else can raise people from the dead. Thank you, Lord, that when we put our trust in you, that even when we are sad, you are with us. That when we see good and beautiful things, they're reminders of your love for us. Help us to believe in you and help us to want to serve you. Help us to, to receive that gift of eternal life by believing in Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray.
Amen. Now, are you ready to play a game? In our game today, you're going to see a picture, a drawing, a cartoon of Dorcas lying sick in bed. And in that, there's going to be two pictures side by side, identical. But there's going to be some things added to one picture. So as you look, you have to find the hidden items and then see if you can find them before the computer circles them. Okay? Well, did you find all the hidden things in the picture? Was that fun? Today has been a great day, learning about God's love for you and about how he has offered you a gift of eternal life and how he shows his power in miracles and we see it in the Bible. It's been a great day. I hope today you'll go out and you'll have a collection. You'll find the things like daffodil, not a concoction, not a commotion, but a collection of things that remind you of God's goodness and his power. So that's a good homework project for you to do, to go out and find a good collection to remind you of God's love for you. Let's end our day in prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you again for all the goodness that you have showered on us. And we ask, Lord, that you'd open our eyes to see your love and power and truth all around us and help us to have um, opportunities to share that love with others. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, you guys. Hope we can see you next week.